Previously on Xenoblade Chronicles. Right. Now come on. <laughs> Ryan says that, but but he actually sees Godol's like trapped under some rear of air. He reaches out like, help me, sir. Ha, let a prick. This girl belongs to Ryan Time now. Damn you, Ryan Time. And now back to El Monado. Sneaker B, back with some more Xenoblade Chronicles. When we last left off, we finally confronted Eggle. He pretty much took everything we said and was like, nah, still fucking hate you, and just tossed us the fuck to the side. <laughs> Face palmed us. Which, by the way, that, that scene was pretty awesome. You guys were pointing out just how, like, truly, like, awesome that one line of his was where your blade did not cut deep enough. But he wasn't really referring to the Monado, because the Monado was, like, right through his freaking chest. But what he's really referring to is how his ideals and his beliefs was not enough to sway him from his mission. Very cool, very interesting. It was really like, I, I feel like a lot of ways when I'm watching a lot of the cutscenes here, it really reminds me of watching like some really good shonen anime or something. Like seriously, shit gets fucking epic. Love it. By the way, you guys told me apparently we got some serious shit coming up here, which uh, yeah, I kind of kinda have a feeling. So I I, uh, I put some clothes on Daddy Dumban. <laughs> but my nudity makes me stronger, Nico. It's all right, Daddy Dumban. I, I kept the Jenny Jims off you, so you still get that really good boost from Fiora, but your agility is a little lower than it normally is. But it's all right. At least he looks cool, right? But I look cooler with my dicks out. No, you don't, Dumban. You're just scaring everybody with that thing. Ricky, getting very tired of seeing Daddy Dumban's little no pawn. It's not little, Ricky. You take that back. Ah, ah, Ricky, sorry, Ricky. Yeah, I'm just fucking with you, Dumban. We all know your junk is the size of Shulk's Monado here. If yours is the Mon Monado 2, I call mine the Monado 3. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is to go even further beyond. But anyway, you guys told me some interesting things last episode, including a very interesting comment from Pomeranian who said uh, kind of bummed Nico didn't recognize the name Yada Yalda Bioth from P Persona 5's final boss since it holds a lot of meaning relating to Eggle's resolve to destroy the Bionis yeah I, I I'd forgotten about that I that was a really complicated name but yes of course that was the name of the grail from uh, Persona 5 in Gnosticism Yalda Bioth is the first name of the Archon the great ruler or also known as the Demiurge the Demiurge is a being that shapes the world and through that claims to be God. However, they did not create the world, and the one who did is a being of higher power, the one true God. Due to that, Yaldabaoth is often characterized as being filled with envy, jealous of the true God, and through that sin acts as an leveling figure threatening humanity. This applies to Egil as well, as Egil is going to use Sir Manus, the one chosen by Mechanus is in the true God, control of the Mechanus to destroy all living beings on the Bionis. In his desire to avenge the Machina, Egil becomes envious of Magna's power and eventually acts not for his people, but purely out of a desire for revenge. Which shows when he says, even my own brethren have turned against me. He no longer cares about what the Machina thinks and acts of his own accord, even betraying his own god for that purpose. It highlights how Egil is blindsided by revenge, much like Shulk was at the beginning of the game. It makes for good insight. So I was hoping Nika would say something like, hey, I've heard that name before, because it's good food for thought. But oh well, we all know Nico's a goofball when it comes to remembering things. So I can't say I didn't expect it. You shut up. <laughs> yeah, I wish I remembered, but I, I can't say I'm honestly surprised I didn't remember it. That said, though, that was really interesting, and I'm glad you shared that bit of insight with us. And it is for that reason, Pomeranian, you are our comment of the day. Yeah, the more you guys are sort of like, the more I've gone through and I've looked back on things, the more I've heard from you guys, like, like really digging deep into the story, it really made me uh, appreciate it, because it really is clearly a lot of thought that's been put into uh, the events that have happened. Because I think on a base level, if you if you go through the game, it's really easy, I think, to miss some of these finer details. So I'm glad that you guys are here to help uh, enlighten me to some of them. Um, anyway, you guys told me apparently there was something I actually missed back at the transporter in Aganaratha. Um, but fortunately, I can't actually head back there. There appears to be apparently a passage here that leads back to the central factory. Despite Agnarotha being destroyed, I can actually still go back there, at least. I think that's what you guys said. I think that's probably what this is over here. All right, then. Let's go. Let's go kill Ego Waffle once and for all. But first, let me jump into this fan. Ah! <laughs> and then I fall right back down to the fallen arm again. Damn it. Oh, shit. Damn it. Ah! I wasn't where I was- Shulk, where are you going? <laughs> I don't know, I'm confused. Where is this giant pit coming from? Oh, hey, there's a quest here. Somewhere in the abyss. Wait, where is it? Is it above me? Is it in the ship? Oh, I, I can't, I can go back in the ship. Oh, oh, junk staff. All right, you probably got some generic shit for me there. Seem really talkative. Well, clearly you want a bunch of generic shit. 
I think. Oh wait. Go into more detail. Oh wait, maybe this isn't generic then. Stop saying you don't know what I'm getting at. You can make a weapon. Store a stone one. Materials are all ready. Just take them to the machine, and you can make a weapon for fuel. The weapon will come in handy. Are you? Oh, okay, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I don't want free shit. Use the weapon creation module in the control tower of the central factory. Okay. You'll like the new weapon. Be careful how you go. Cool. Hopefully it's something worthwhile. The last few new weapons I've gotten for Fiora haven't been better than what she's had already. Oh, something else I, I, I think I've noticed. <gasps> it does seem like there is a connection between Alvis and Shulk here. So I, I believe in those flashbacks, we're seeing Shulk interacting with Alvis, right? I don't think, like, first I thought it was literally like a, a, a Shulk talking to another Shulk, like two different younger Shulks or something, but I think it's Alvis talking to Shulk. And I think we also saw that earlier when he was, like, saying how he didn't have a vision, but he knew something was wrong, like, kind of like what's happening with Shulk here. So, like, whatever's happening with him is affecting Alvis as well. At least that's kind of the gist I might be getting here, but I think that is, like, there is this connection between them. I still can't really tell if Alvis is a good guy or not, though. Is he is he trying to help us or, or not? It does seem like he isn't. Like, he's, he's doing something behind our back, but maybe he's doing it with another intention of mine of, like, he's trying, betraying them to, to help us, to, I don't know, or get, on the, get in their good graces to help us? I, I don't know. Oh, I can't skip to the landmark. Oh, fuck you. It's in the location I'm currently at. I mean, I get not be able to get out of here at the moment, but come on. Holy mother of God, what am I looking at right now? Is that the, that's the core of the Mechanis or whatever? Whoa, can I fall back down there? I could probably try, but I don't think I'd live. Oh, maybe this is the way to get back. Bridge to Apocrypha. Oh no, this, I think this might be the, uh, the way to get back here. Yeah, here we go. Woo! Hey, we made it back. Oh, and we're inside this area that I couldn't get to before. Open the fuck up. Hey, I can probably take this motherfucker out now. Well, maybe. Majestic Mordred. You guys also point out how a lot of the named enemies here are named after uh, uh, Arthurian characters, like uh, like Lancelot. That's cool. I wonder if there is a lore reason behind it. Everyone, Everyone let's try not to die. This guy... No, oh, I'm burning alive. Ah! Fuck me. This guy's heart is shit. Just so much damage. God damn it. They're trying to get to me with a. Oh, alright. How the fuck am I supposed to beat this guy? Damn it! Ah, uh, god damn it! Ah, this fight fucking blows. Seriously, this is so hard. That was the best I did, though. Shit! Ah, I was so close. Damn it! Damn it! Seriously, he goes crazy at the fucking end. He does so much dumb damage. Then I can't do shit. Fucking dicks, am I supposed to beat this guy? Holy mother of fuck. What the fuck? I just, I took control of Ricky and I actually fought him from the ledge. I, I noticed that I could actually fight him up here and I think it means he couldn't, he can't hit me with that one stomp attack of his. I was still losing to him though until I switched to Ricky and then fucking nothing just melted him. I don't know what Ricky's AI is like normally. Maybe it's not very good. I think you guys didn't mention anything about his being terrible, but but motherfucker, when I take control of him myself, like God, I remember I having a same a similar instance. It was at that other fight with uh, lightning something or other that was giving me so much shit. I took control of Ricky and just destroyed him. Oh my god, this guy just melted. I cannot believe it. How much easier that was. Ricky is true hero upon the game. You really kind of are, Ricky. Oh, sweet Tempest Kick. Tempest Kick for dear old Daddy Dunban. Thank god my pain was not in vain. Okay. Let's go ahead and craft that weapon. Weapon complete.
War Blades. See if it's any good. Yeah, it's a bit stronger. Um, not like a ton, but honestly, I still just prefer this one because it's already got good shit installed into it. I don't have an HP up for uh, Jim myself. Oh, I see. Yeah, there's a secret room back here. How do I get back? How do I get back there? Or is it a secret room? You know, I thought this place got. I thought this place got fucking blown up. <laughs> nah, that's fine. Made a bigger deal about it than it really was. You know. Oh. All is complete. Now we should key enjoyment of magnificent view. Mandatory. Oh, what? Dude, why do you have like an exclamation border? Give me some indication that this was here. Oh, this is gotta be what you guys were fucking talking about. God, it was like yesterday it was like I had to go through the, the teleporter. I think it was near the teleporter. I mean, I guess this area kinda is, but I was looking around, I thought it was like a secret area. Uh around the teleporter. For a second I thought you were talking about this little area right here, but I think that's just attached to one of the towers and yeah, that I've already been to. This might explain why this I this map still isn't complete. Oh, hey, I can open these doors now, too. That's, oh, maybe that's what I was trying to open with that key. Oh, yeah, there we go, boom! Oh, it is, it's so beautiful. It's so fucking beautiful. Just wanna fly! Shulk, what in the world are you doing? Just dicking around. Okay, did that complete it? Yes, or it did. Okay. That's probably what you guys want me to get. Well, thank you for telling me that, because, uh... I don't want to... Definitely don't want to miss out on all that fucking juicy experience. And AP and stuff. Seriously, I think you get... Probably the majority of the AP and, like, SP you get are from these, uh... Finding, like locations and things. At least that's the way it feels like. I mean, you, get, you definitely get a, a, a good amount from battle, but, but seriously, like, the fucking numbers you get from just finding shit on the world really makes you want to go out and make sure you get it, got everything. Oh, hey! Daddy Dumpin and uh, Shulk have uh, reached pink heart. Hey, cool, all right, that means uh, uh, Shulk has got two pink hearts with characters. I don't know if I'll manage to get everybody to pink heart. I mean, I, I'd like to, but I don't know that. We're, Probably take a lot of grinding. Like, you really do get affinity slowly in this game. And especially those last couple of levels just start getting fucking ridiculous. Okay, I imagine this is what you guys want me to get. So with that, let us go finally proceed with Show and Eggle who the fuck is boss in this town. Fortunately, I have no- <laughs> I don't have to run all the way back because I can't fast travel at all right now. Which, I mean, makes sense, although I, I, I didn't feel like I should be able to fast travel at least within uh, Agnaratha and Central Factory since I can't actually run to these areas. Is. All right, it's time. It's just as I thought. The Monado feels the same as it did before the Apocrypha took effect. No, it feels even more powerful. The Bionis Monado and this Monado, they have to be connected somehow. Because... You aren't here. Not anymore. Why am I remembering that dream? Why now? <sighs> Without the power, I can't stop Egil. I have to concentrate. All I have to think about is how to stop the Mechonis. If the Monado does bring about the end, then I know what to do. Fiora. Shulk. What were you thinking about? Uh... Uh, nothing. So... It's like that, is it? Really, it's nothing. Listen, Shulk. If it's too hard for you to handle on your own, talk to me. Huh? Talk to your little robot Fiora. girlfriend. You can tell any of the others as well. We're all here for you. Don't forget that. Hurry the fuck up, Shulk! <laughs> You're right. You're here for me. Of course. And don't overdo it, okay? We all saw what happened. Is your arm okay? Yeah. It's not bad. I'll live. Oi! You two! <laughs> Is something up? No! It's nothing. Just busy making out. Don't mind us. Come on. Mm hmm. Aw. Oh. 
sure. Ouch! You can. <sighs> Ow! <laughs> no! Don't hit it with that! You dick! The Apocrypha generator. Apocrypha generator. This machine. Is this? Yes. The Apocrypha generator. Yeah. Let's trash the thing. We take this out and it's plain sailing for Shulk. It should be. It is a miracle that you have been able to use the Monado at all. Hear that? Ah. Are you really all right? Yeah. I'm... fine. Venea, we need to find Egil. The control core is directly above. It is not far. I'm fine, second best Wafu. Really, it's like, ah! Motherfucker, I swear to God! Oh dear. Wait. It's moving. No. We're too late. You mean? The Mechonis functions have been restored. Well, stop talking and go at me! Yes. You puny pests are too late. Oh dear. Oh dear! Oh god! Everyone fall back! That's not good, not good! Oh god, it's coming in hot! Uh... Oh my god! Oh my... That's a bad way to go! He's gone and done it! Huh? The Mechonis has struck! Not good. I think it must have hit somewhere on Bionis. No, no. Move out! Don't forget, we've still got a job to do. Right. Let's go! Uh, what? What is that? Whatever is wants to get in our dumb demon way. Well, not today. Shield barrier. Okay. Which means I have to knock out the little things around it? Uh, no, no. I'm free to be damaging it. Boom. Holy slash! Boom, boom! I can see it! Oh dear, what's happening? Ah, more of the fucking ether skills. Oh, it topples me. Okay. Take shield! We seized our future! Back to me again! Ah! Whoa, what happened there? Ah. Leave it to me. Ricky, don't mess up. Here don't Ricky. fuck this up, Ricky. Perfect. We are at one with the battlefield. Yeah. We are at one with nature. That's awesome. Leave this to me. Three I'm not sure that shield generator is supposed to be doing, but uh still might not doing much. It's reducing your damage a little bit. I will say, I am shocked that after all those quests I did, I really do not feel over leveled. I mean, this thing's level 70, I'm 71. I mean, that's. That is not over leveled. Boom. whatever. We did it, Shulk. Shulk? Oi! <sighs> oh, hey, okay! Whoa! Whoa! That's a big old beam sword! What happened to the Monado? It must have changed just as the generator was destroyed. It's amazing! Sweet! Alright! Kick now it up a few more talking. notches. Next up, Egil! Egil! Can you go on? Me? I'm all right. Come on, we have to stop Egil. 
back on track. Just like I said, the kid will come oh. through. Naturally, everything is falling into place. <laughs> you can say that again. Oh my god! Don't you know what the fuck is up with these two? Only as long as we remain within the margins of fate. I know not how things will proceed from this point. That's how I feel about this whole fucking game, really. Oh, what? You guys are... Oh, hey! Cyclone! New art learned! Yeah! I have not been able to predict a whole lot in this game, I gotta say. My powers have weakened! <laughs> now that I've got the power of foresight and get in, in the game, it has reduced my power of foresight in reality. Because that's completely how this works. Hey, I filled up my little Mon Monado bar now. I was actually wondering if this uh, was gonna get uh, full of stuff uh, at some point. The Monado's power attacks enemies all around the, its wielder. Oh, hey, and it also topples if they're suffering from break. This is a shit ton of damage. Circle around user, nice. We will be here. This is your fight now. Good luck as you see fit. We'll talk again when it's over. You look like you mean business. I know you, you like and handle it. Off you go then. Stop that angle once and for all. So we can do our own dastardly deed of some kind. All right, here we go. This moment feels like a real serious turning point in uh in this game. Uh, all right, let's see how this shit goes. Hit me, baby. So you worms have finally arrived. Agil, stop the Maconis. There has to be a way for us to live in peace. There's no reason for us to fight. You must stop this now! My reasons are clear and truer than yours. What's that? Holy Look. crap. Whoa! Oh, May that's the it. roar of the Maconis be the wrath of my people. That's how you're able to see out this thing. I say, oh god! No, stop! Oh my god! How many? How many do you think died in that attack? Hundreds? Maybe thousands? Ekil! You'll regret this! Brother! Stop this! You'll destroy the Bionis! Let us put an end to our torment! It ends when I say it ends! I will end our curse! By destroying the world! You must realize! That is not Lady Maynard's wish! That's why she left us her legacy! Our whole world! Pure nonsense. That thing lurking within the Homs girl is no longer our god. This world no longer has a need for gods. Echel! Stop this! Face me. Stop being a dick, Echo! Successor of Xander. Oh lord. I'll crush the Bionis and spread its ashes across the world. Then I'll turn the Monado into dust. Only then will there be peace. No, it's because they're... No, everyone just be dead. There's a difference. Oh, God, here we go. It's time to end this. The all Oh, God, he's even a little higher than me. Hey, let your gut buster. Damn it, I have no way of getting behind you. Or wait, do I? Oh, wait, yeah, I do. Never mind. I, I, I think. Wait, can I hit you from here? Okay, no, it does not appear to be the case. Don't chastise me! Oh god. Oh god. See? Oh wait. Oh, I was like, did he turn to the side? No, he was he was winding up. That's what I thought. Herbra! Teach us hair upon Ricky. Manufactured drone. Oh god, not this crap again. No, stop! Leave us alone! Oh god! Spiders coming! Ah, oh, two of them! He's like, crap, I probably should be summoning guys or something. These guys are kind of hurting me. Oh god, oh god. Oh god, what the fuck? No! Bionis slash X! No! Oh god, we gotta kill him fast! Defeat the three energy devices around Yaldabaoth, Bill. Oh my god, we are all fucked! Okay, these things. Guys! 
Guys, focus on this thing, you stupid idiots! Okay. Okay. Ignore them! Fight this thing! Oh my god! Wow! What a fucking future that was! Die! Okay. Okay. It's one last. Oh god, the spiders! Ah! Uh. Our squad mates are wherever they are! Come on, guys! Leave the spiders alone! Fine, I'll just do it all myself then! Okay! Oh, I eat shit! That future! Your future got straight fucked! Oh, and your days now! Let's add on to it! Or not! Uh. Tempest Kick! Here we go! Boom! Daddy done bad time! Blossom! Dance! Oh! oh yeah! Slay with that final Blossom Dance Strike! Oh man, look at that! Oh, he's got speed going. That's so cool. Uh, anime as fuck. Incredible. Whoa, such power. I never use that cyclone move. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, Don't do it. Oh, cut his fucking head off. Oh. Kill him. Kill him. That voice. Fucking Zanza. Strike him down. <laughs> Do it. Give in to the dark side. <laughs> no. Don't listen to Zanza, Shulk. He's a piece of shit, but he doesn't deserve to die. I will. I'll kill him. No. A thousand times. Yes. Finish him. End it. It is what you want. Yes. I want to. I'll kill him. For Fiora. For the Emperor. For my home! You must find your Monado. Are you ready? Oh. Are you feeling hungry, eh? Chew on this, scratch your brain. You kill a hum, Mr. Beat us. I want you to I once wished only I to break I'll the circle of suffering. Until I've he believed each and blood. every one of you! Mena, the, the villagers, yes. everyone loved you. Every person. Yes. That is why they Finish wished him. to live alongside End you. End it. The way it is what so you clear. want. To Mena, and to me. <sighs> no! This isn't what I want! Shulk! No! Yes, lives this time. Why didn't you do it? Killing me would have saved your world. I've forgotten all about that. Forgotten about it? I realized that we both share the same pain. Egil, I don't have any reason to kill you. Even if you do not, I still do. I know. But I won't do it. If you do not kill me now, my blade will annihilate every last one of your people. Even then. I can't kill you, but I can stop your blade. And I'll do it. Over and over again until... we understand each other. Okay? <sighs> you have used the Monado well. But do you honestly believe you are its master? Way to go, Shock. In the cycle of pain. 
Maconis and Bionis once lived in harmony. They coexisted in peace, without hatred or strife. Now here we go. Agil, why, why do you think, think we were born? Ah, philosophy. Alas, I am not very good at answering such questions. Have you I never thought, thought about it? it? Never, never contemplated what lies beyond this world? Beyond this world? <laughs> Lady Mayneth once said that aside from the Bionis and the Meconis, this world is filled with nothing but boundless ocean. But, but what, what lies, lies beyond, beyond that? that? We, we are, are still, still young. young. And unable to leave the Bionis or the Meconis, say goodbye to our creators, our world. But one day our descendants will. They will leave this place and depart for new worlds, worlds we have never imagined, by strength of their will alone. Leave this place? That is something I have never considered. However, it would be a truly amazing sight. Hey, Gil. I, I wish to see that the people of Bionis and the people of Mechonis live in peace and harmony and take care of one another. I wish this for the future of our descendants. Yes. I too desire this. Arglas. What? Arglas. Everybody shared the belief that the prosperity of our two worlds would continue for all eternity. Is that his first name or last name or done, something? Were it not for the Monado. The Monado refused to permit the existence of the Meconis. Or rather, the existence of anything but itself. What? Whoa. One day, it took control of my friend, Arglas, oh. and he became Zanza. Oh! It was Arglas, possessed by Zanza, who directed his sword at Maconis. Oh, oh! I don't understand. Does being controlled by the Monado mean you will eventually become Zanza? The Monado is Zanza. Zanza is the Monado. The two are one and the same. Wow, okay. Interesting. Okay, so... The giant himself, his name is Arglas. But something in the Monado took control of him, and he became Zanza. So Zanza, I see, he is the sword. So he somehow... So where did the Monado come from then, right? It, man, it's really cool how they just keep, like... They keep taking what you believe to be, like, okay, this is like some chosen sword or something meant to fight the, the Mechanis, and now it's like, no, this thing is just fucking evil. <laughs> Seriously. Like, wow. In order to perpetuate the existence of his soul, Zanza inhabits beings of Bionis. But huh. you appear to be different. What do you mean? I can see it. I can see it. How well you retained a sense of self. Perhaps you can break the curse of Zanza. And why Shulk in particular, and was I wonder? was that not precisely our wish, Lady Mayneth? I don't know much about any curse. For now, all I can do is this, Egil. We can... Live in peace again. Again? I see. Yes, you're right. Oh no. No! No! Oh! What the fuck? Oh! I thought- I thought for sure I was gonna hit- No! Ego! Not Shulk! That's not good. Dixon? Oh, God damn it. You shouldn't have done that, little brat. Ah! Oh, oh, God! Dixon! 
shows his true fucking demon colors. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I feared. I feared he would be fucking evil. Oh my god, what? Okay, all right, fuck this. Let's see where this rabbit hole leads us now. Shit is getting real. The mind fucks are coming, I can feel it. Shulk! Oh god, catch me, catch me, catch me, thank you. Dixon, why? Why, old man, are you completely out of your mind? Ah, don't you kids ever shut up. I'm just doing my job, as always. Right? Who are you? It... It's you. Yes. Now you remember. What? It's been a long time. Hasn't it, Eggle? Too long. Huh? Zanza's disciple. Zanza's disciple? Eagle, what do you mean? Dixon, what are you? I don't have to explain anything. As they say, seeing is believing. Now, witness it with oh. your own eyes. God, what? The moment of Lord Zanza's return. What the hell did he shoot him, shoot him with? Get away from him! No! Ah! Whoa! Sansa! I won't let you do this! Oh no. No! Whoa! He fucking absorbed it! Whoa! Oh my! Brother! Oh my god, Shulk has gone Ultra Instinct! Oh. Wait, oh. who's this guy? Zanza. Do not be surprised. Everything in this world is dictated by the passage of fate. Oh my god. As all that exists is interconnected, time can flow only towards the inevitable. Uh... <laughs> what? Okay, so he like did take shulk's body wait so maybe that is shulk talking to shulk earlier when he's a baby or something now he, but he's like taking it, it but it's separated from shulk's original body so it looks like he still has his but he's taking the form of shulk but he's now zanza i, I guess oh my god that is the vision of which i the monado am the origin oh that which will be will be this was all predestined. Whoa. Ever since I came to reside within Shulk. What do you mean? Zanza grew tired from our battle. And then the High Entia ancestors trapped him. His flesh was sealed away on Prison Island. His soul, and hence the Monado, was confined to Ose Tower. In those ruins? But what does this have to do with Shulk? Did you forget? Who discovered those ruins? Oh. Who oh. happened to be there? Who was the survivor we found? And who brought back that survivor? What are you saying? You planned all this when you found Shulk? Jackpot. It was all for this day. In fact, there was never anyone called Shulk to begin with. What? My soul existed inside the Monado. What? It was fated that I'd be released. It was shown to me in a vision. At last the time finally came, and then... The people who found the Monado and freed it awoke Sansa. He sucked the lies from them so he could live. Shulk was among them. She oh. was already dead. What? That's impossible. We grew up together. You grew up with an empty shell. He appeared to live because I became his life force. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> He's an empty shell? Is he a nobody now? Oh, wow. Okay. Whoa. I'm a little bummed. I, I, I don't think we brought up 
uh, a disciple of Zanza before. I kind of wish we had because I feel it feels a little bit like an ass bowl. Like, remember this guy? That, I mean, right? I mean, I'm, I might be forgetting something, but I don't think we've had any mention or even indication of some other person alongside Zanza. So he he found the Monado, and the soul of Zanza essentially, like I guess, took his body. But it killed him, basically, right? Oh, uh, and that's why he's been able to use it. And, of course, Dixon found him, who seems to be this disciple of uh, of Zanza. So he's been working against us the whole time. God damn it. I fucking knew Dixon, though, would end up being a bad guy. I think that's at least one thing I sort of predicted here. I think even before he started revealing his true colors, I just... There was something about him, like... I don't know. I didn't fully trust him. That is until he had matured as my new vessel and become worthy of wielding the Monado allowing me to truly awaken and finally return. Lord Zanza is the soul of the Bionis, but he still needs a living body. Oh. Just like Mayneth over there. <laughs> Call that corpse a friend? Don't make me laugh. But why use Shulk? What was it that made you select Shulk as your vessel? There was no particular reason. Shulk merely happened to be there at the time. There you have it. Anybody would have done. As long as they could swing a sword around, at least. So then, Shulk's ability to use the Monado... And those visions that he used to save us. All because of Lord Zanza. Lord Zanza can see the passage of fate. He simply led you to the inevitable. The destruction of Colony 9. The oh my death god. Of that pompous old high end here fool and that grunt Gaddo's miserable demise. All wow. Wow. What a mindfuck that is. So the whole point, the those visions he was seeing was him trying to, it was like the future and like fulfilling his own prophecy, right? Making sure that we got to the right places and did the right things at the right time so that he could come back to the fucking demon debt. What the fuck? No! You evil! Yeah! Ow! Come on! There's more. We haven't even got to the best part. There's more? What are you gonna do, Dixon? Don't you get it? You're just in the way. The lot of you. This world was created by Lord Zanza, by the very Bionis itself. Then you things think you can just spring up all over the place. All life that is born from me must be returned to me eventually to complete the cycle. For me to continue my existence as before, then all must be restored to its former order. In other words, the destruction and recreation of the world. Nothing more to it. So what are you First, then, we must Dixon? eliminate my greatest obstacle. You, Mayneth. The Maconics! Oh, God. The Bionis! Oh, God! Now he's waking the fuck up! So is Dixon Hom still there? Waiting. waiting for this day. Oh Lord. He blocked. Brother, stop! You're too weak! I don't care. I will gladly sacrifice myself to eliminate Xander. As long as he lives, there can be no peace for us or for the people of Bionis. Ha. Then you shall cease to exist by the wrath of my blade. Holy fuck, what is that? The Monado. That's a fuck you looking Monado. Oh, Jesus. I'll show you the meaning of wrath. What? Oh no. Oh, got 
history bisected. Meaningless sentiment. Zanza! Right, now! Yeah! How could you do this? Oh my god, sweet awesome power! It is from me that all life is born. It lives only for me. And it shall be returned! Oh no. He's sucking our life force now. Oh god! Oh, me this time! <laughs> so you have finally unleashed your Monado. And there was me thinking you would die with dignity. Oh, we. She has her own Monado? Oh! The futures of our children belong to them alone. Though we are their creators, their lives are theirs to control. Even if the passage of fate is as you have decided, I will teach you the strength of their will to resist. Defeat Evil Shulk! Oh my god, oh wow, she's dual wielding her own Monados. That's awesome! Oh my god! If you choose to deny the existence of every living being but yourself, then I choose to fight. To fight for them! That's right. We won't let you erase everyone's futures. Oh man, all aboard the hype train! Oh fuck yeah, here we go! Battle is mine, Maynard! Oh my god, oh my god, I have no idea what level he is. I'm feeling pretty good. Is that all you've got? Healing energy! Ow! Now, Give me that strength! All the energy. How <laughs> ah, low tension. I feel like I could beat anyone. Oh, hi, Tetsu now. Topless asshole. <laughs> you are a pathetic excuse for a cut. Nope. Uh, shifting into second gear. Uh, Is that all you've end. got? Uh, Little help, guys. Where'd you guys go? Is that all you've got? Go. Now, it's not nice to hog all the energy. How's this? Oh, my God, this music. Da, da, da. Ah. <laughs> I'll chain attack with myself. Yeah, I am totally fucked. Manith is not strong enough. So the Monados are like the swords of both the Bionis and Mechanis, I guess. Seeing as Manith has now pulled out her own Monados. I wonder if that's something that Fiora will have from now on. That'd be tight! Oh my god, look at him go! At least Eggle, okay, Eggle still seems to be alive at least. Something wrong. Is this the height of your skill? You call yourself a god. Ow! And you talk of sharing this world with me! God, seriously, it's like a fucking anime. So that's why the dead boy is important to you. The homes are nothing but bacteria. Clinging to my body. They are living beings. If you cannot understand this, you have no right to call yourself a god. Damn. And who decides that? A god. Because only a god may decide. 
This world only needs one god, Maynard. May you rot in that shell for all eternity! Ah! Uh. God damn, Zonda is so much worse than the Bionis. Face me like a god. Or Bekonis. If not, then say goodbye to your putrid friends. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, oh, did she finally, she leave Fiora's body? Oh, she sure did. Such a fool. This is what I wish. This world belongs to you all. Oh no! Create a world with no need for gods. Renatas are still there, though. <laughs> oh my this God, no! The passage of fate. Holy fuck, that's bad. Disappear now! It's gone, and things ain't looking good for us. Ah, no, I thought the R was gonna get him. No, you dick. You have two Monados, that's not fair. <laughs> Let it begin. The ceremony of destruction and recreation. It's back on Prison Island. Oh, big drop of resolution there. Okay, what's he doing? This might be why I had to do those quests before <laughs> in Alchemoth before time ran out. This seems like it might be the reason why. The the Bionis. That light. What's happening now? <laughs> Vanea. I'm sorry. I was. I understand. I always knew it might come to this. Go, Vanea. Do what you must, while there is still time remaining. All hope is not lost. No! You must come with me. I, too, have something that I must do. <laughs> the final wish. Trusted to me by Lady Mayneth. Oh, brother. Melia? I understand your feelings. Leave it to us. We know what we must do. We will do all we can for the people of Maconis. Uh, now go. Shulk can still be saved. Do not let the last glimmer of hope. Be extinguished. Begil. Go in peace. Let's go. We're leaving the Maconis. Ryan, take care of Shulk. Got it. That was a serious 180. Uh, now we love Echo. Yes. She's still glowing a bit. Does that mean Manith might still have like a little bit left in? Left a little bit of her inside of Fiora? Good. It still works. The whole place is gonna blow. We must return to Junks via the central factory. Let's go. Thundern? What about Egil? Fuck him! He'll fight Zanza to the very end. But we have our part of the bargain. Once he's gone, we're the only ones left. Let's move, everyone! Goodbye, my brother. Holy shit. 
<laughs> a guest in our party is Shulk's dead, lifeless body. Holy shit, we gotta get the fuck out of here. We're all gonna die. Da -da 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 -da. Run, Melia. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> ah, run! Back to the spaceship. Just the fuck out of here, guys. Looks like it's all over. Yep. I though even though I wasn't there. I'm thanking you for what you did for my son. But we have to escape here first. We'll go back to the village. Get this the fuck out of here, fatty! Hey, I've got a thyroid problem. Leave me alone. Punch it, old man. Stubborn mortals. So desperate to cling to your pathetic lives. Even when there is no hope for you! Ah. Uh. Got him good there. And lost Die! his arm. Oh no. Holy shit. Shulk. For both our worlds, you must succeed. Lady Maynard. Oh. Poor Ego Waffle. Oh my god. So he completely destroyed the Mechanis there. So what about all the people that were there in, in the Fallen Arm? And, well, they were in the Fallen Arm. They were separate from it. So they might still be alright, but... Makanis looks like it might be toast. <gasps> the Makanis! Thank you. <sighs> Look, Starboard. What's that cloud? Oh my god, what is that? Oh, fucking Telethia. Fuck off! It's Telethia! Do not want it. Oh my god, it's a big one. Oh, Dixon. No, You're come on. Getting away. Dixon. Listen, it's over. Time for you all to return to the Bionis. Nice and quietly. That's enough. Why, Dixon? What made you like this? Shulk looked up to you, respected you. Dixon. Don't let Zanza control you! Wake up! You can quit your belly aching. I'm in total control. I've always been like this. Ever since long before any of you lot were born. Before we were born? Now you get it. It's just like Eagle said. I'm Lord Zanza's disciple. Dixon of the Trinity! Oh, God. Sereni Telethia jumps deck. Where did where Dixon go? Is he inside this thing? Or did he just jump to the side while we're fighting him? Electric Cup Buster! Dance with me! I feel the ether flowing through me. Die! Got 
got a shit ton of uh, electric damage uh, gems on Melias. I can dish out so much damage with this electric tax of hers now. No, Daddy, dumb man! Come back! We are far from finished here. Oh god. Ah, Art Seal! Whoa, what's happening? Whoa, where am I going? <laughs> you waste of space. Not so tough without Shulk, eh? Stupid beast. Oh, he's right on its back, I see. You should be grateful. Not everyone has a war buddy like me to lead them along. Tasted good, didn't they? The victory Whoa. drinks we used to share. I'll kill you! What? <sighs> Who was that? Show yourself! Melia, are you alright? Oh. Callian! Callian! Dixon! He works for the Bionis! He shot Shulk in the back! <laughs> and, uh, by the way, Bi Bionis is a bad guy! <laughs> is this true? Dixon? This ends here. Your Telethia are no match for our Havrez squadron. You cannot win! Maybe you should be concentrating on your own people! Instead of barking at me. <gasps> Looks like you've forgotten your destiny. Right? Lorathea? Oh. Lorathea? Are you involved in this as well? Your Highness. Your naivety is quite charming. But it is also your undoing. <laughs> I had much fun playing with you and your father. What? What is this light? Ether particles emitted so that the Bionis can be destroyed and reborn. <laughs> what do you get if you cross high concentrations of ether with high entia? N no, you wouldn't. Lorathea! Awaken, my darling pet! Oh, oh, it turns him into Telethia. Oh my god! I'm like fusing with the ships too? No, Callian! Lorathea! Let him go! You misunderstand, child. This is the reason why High and Tear are born. Do not blame poor old me. <laughs> why is she still on face by us? Shouldn't she is she getting hit by all the, the fucking energy shit? The ether? yourself. It's just like she says. The High and Tear are a race created by Lord Zanza to eliminate any annoying life forms in the preparation for the rebirth of the Bionis. Their bodies contain a gene that, when the time comes, transforms them into Telethia. Oh my god. They're like fused with the ships, too. It can't be. Say it isn't so. Melia, it is true. That is why you are our only hope. Because she's not pure Hyantia, right? Brother? Whatever. We won't be needing a half-breed like you anyway. I mean, if you don't turn into a Telethia, it just means you're going to get crushed by one. That's the only thing you're good for. <gasps> Rise up, pet. Do my bidding. Kill your lovely sister. Brother! No, not Callian. Callian was awesome. Me Melia, 
so sorry. I always placed such a heavy burden on you. Don't say such things, brother! But at least I can still shoulder the destiny of our people. The burden meant for you brings a tear to my eye. These moments are to be treasured. <laughs> Oh, he's like, fuck your shit! Not today, bitch! Die, big tits! Brother! Melia! Father's wish and the future of the High Entia are in your hands! Yours and Shulk's! <gasps> Telethia! Destroy him! Don't let him touch me in my wool cleavage! The fuck out of my way! Dixon! I got it! Too late! Damn him! Oh god! Brother! Oh. Callion too! Fuck! Everyone's dropping like flies! Stop it! Oh my god! So much shit is happening! Ah! Uh, oh, uh, what, what? We're in space now? What is this background? Oh my god. Wow! Calling those mindfucks feels like a bit of an understatement! Ah, uh, but I'm a blah! Wow! Oh my god, so much shit is happening! So much plot! So much plot! Oh no! Poor, poor Callion! I feel so bad for Angle now, too! Fuck Dixie! Fuck him to hell! Oh, God. I'm pretty sure Dixon is not gonna die from that. Larithia, maybe? I'm hoping, or at least, I'm hoping she gets, like, I don't know, at least really badly injured or something. Like, she loses the left half of her fucking body. She's like, ah! It's alright! I still have one titty left! I can still use this to defeat you! <laughs> wow! Oh, my God. So much shit is. So much crap is happening. Man, that really was a turning point, wasn't it? But it was so good. It was so interesting. Okay, I'm, finally we're starting to get some answers now. Okay. All right, it's all starting to come together, but but makes you wonder then, like, what's going on with Shulk? Why is it, his relation to Alvis? And Alvis, what? I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm feeling like, because Alvis still, was like, still seems like he's helping Shulk, right? He's the one who's been talking to him. I don't think he's evil, or at least not fully evil. I, th I think he's I think he's been pretending to work alongside Dixon and them, and maybe in doing so would help Shulk uncover his own Monado or his own power, one that isn't controlled by Zanza. I mean, it's clear, I mean, before he was talking and acting like an ally to Dixon and them, but I, I, I think he's playing them so that he can uh, help Shulk out. At least, at least that's what I hope. I, I, I really hope Alvis isn't end up being just pure evil as well. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy this fucking action-packed episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. And subscribe if you're not already become the penguin. For this will be where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy! Ooh, I've got the demon eyes out! <laughs> It's because you blend into the night. I do. Ooh, ah! <laughs> you better give me that, Nico. That's my bunny. No, it's my bunny. No, it's mine. Ah. Ooh. And she's like, ow! <laughs> she really likes this little bunny. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> I got it. Now you got a real man. You got a real man. Can't. You're too big. Ugh. You're saying it fat. There you go. Um, just for that, you're dead. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I will kill you with cuteness. Yes, who's the cutest girl? Huh? Who's that sweet girl? Woo. Woo. 
You know it's me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get you.